I live in Redondo Beach, and so what I'm using a um, a GP, a Comet GP1 antenna. Uh, and so what I did was I just use uh, I'm using Super Strut there, and just tying it Super Strut, and then I'm using a, the piece of Super Strut to act as my you know what normally people would put a pole there I'm using super strut because that's what I had but I think it it's gonna work pretty well and I kind of like put it on the back end of the antenna I've got you know I've got solar panels over here so I don't have to worry about shading and I'm getting ready to put this uh, this LM 400 down and I've also got um, some um, UTP cable for um, I'm running them up on the roof. What I'm going to planning to do is run it in through one of those vents, so I can uh, basically have a, a feed up to the attic. Uh, my uh, my attic feed is the the cable up there in the attic is not um, it's not very good. So I'm going to kind of kind of rig another access point and possibly do something with cameras up here. But I need some more cable up here, so I'm just using this opportunity to do that. Um, you can kind of see here's the here's the LM240 cable and it's running through here and then it's um, and basically runs into this antenna and, 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 and marries up there I'll show you maybe a picture of that later but this stuff is so easy to work at it's a RG8X uh, but it's bad for VHF so I mean it's got a lot of loss it's very lossy okay so I'm going to use my idea is use this for HF this cable for HF and um, so what I did here was I just went down to Home Depot and I bought some uh, super strut I cut that and then I bought these these they're kind of magnetic uh, washers and then um, a pretty heavy duty 3 8 hardware so and these are this is steel so it's pretty damn good and so then I can also have the option of putting something else up here later which I like that option and then the other thing if I if I need to go higher I've got plenty of room here to to go higher so I'll let you know what happens on my cable run it's not pretty I'm gonna have to just um, what I'm gonna do is going to just run it down there um, just down this down this wall well, I have here. 75 feet up on the 75 feet of um, to my UHF antenna and VHF antenna so I, I got this stuff on um, eBay and I'll give you a link to it um, this is LM 400 cable you can see it's really stiff and hard to work with and the only thing is that that it comes with um, the N type of connectors. Um, normally, radio equipment has PL259 um, connectors, which is this. But this cable has very low loss cable, and it's got um, PL, I'm, it's got a N type. So I've had to buy these adapters from eBay, and I'll I'll show you the uh, adapter setup. So um, the other thing I'm going to do is run some um, some some other. Well, I'm up on the roof. I'm going to run a, a feeder line of um, Cat five Cat five E cable and po poke that up through the hole too. So I'm going to just crawl under the roof. And so this stuff is just really hard to work with. Um, and for some reason, Wilson is a manufacturer that does these. Um, uh, cell phone amplifiers and so this stuff is supposed to be the same as the very expensive LM 400 from a from the you know the kind of the best manufacturer so I think I got this for somewhere around 70 bucks the 75 foot run so uh, what I did was I've got this big drill and I had to drill through my uh, hole in my um, it's on the underneath the house there I'm gonna kind of my house is up I got a little crawl space under it and so I had to drill this huge hole so the problem is um, you gotta you know fit one of these connectors through uh, and so 
what you're going to do, what I, the idea is I'm going to, I'm going to have one for high frequency and one for, um, the, uh, low, then one for VHF. And so I'm going to basically poke two cables through that hole. One's going to go up first and one's going to go up second. Okay. So the high frequency cable is LM um, 400 and the low frequency cable, sorry, the high frequency cable, I'm going to use this, um, I think it's LM 240. Um, it's uh, RG8X, okay? And the, and the connector on that is, is, a, is a, I think that's the biggest connector, right? So the other cable I'm going to show you in a second, and that's going to be the LM400 that I got on eBay. So now um, I've got to waterproof the um, connection to the, the, the PL259 connector, which is on the um, Comet GP1. And um, so there's a, the SO type connector on that. So what what I have to do, what I did was I bought these. Now the end connector is already waterproofed, but the um, PL259 is not. So what I'm going to do is I've got this marine grade adhesive lined um, shrink tubing. And so the idea is I'm going to fit these... Um, going to fit these on these connectors and then I'm going to use a, um, a heat shrink gun to, uh, to, 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 heat, to heat shrink everything together and then I could even wrap that. So again the, the, Comet, the Comet connection, um, the antenna fits in here so it's going to be pretty well sealed I think. Um, from the water, but just in case, I'm gonna um, gonna be sealing this up because it's probably the, gonna be the wettest place on the roof. And um, I have used with some success this heat shrink, and I'll show you the heat shrink in a little bit. So, because of loss in the UHF band, um, I've, it's been recommended to me that I use. Um, these this LM 400 style cable and it's they all almost always have these waterproof end connectors on them uh, of course this is RG8X the guy at the computer store told me to get this um, it doesn't seem to be too bad I've got 75 foot of uh, run to my shack but I looked at the loss characteristics of this wire, the RG8X, or it's called, um, I think it's called Mini, Mini 8 or something like that. Um, and you could kind of see it, it's not, it look, at, look at the difference in the cable. It's huge. And the stiffness of this stuff, this is the uh, LM400 uh, type of cable, it's super thick I got this particular cable I think is a Wilson cable it's made for um, the the cell phone repeaters on top of houses but you know the Comet is not going to accept the end type connector so I have to buy this translator so that's the situation I have and of course, I, you have to kind of have the antenna down if, so you can work on it here. Um, and I'll let you know what happens next. So now I've, uh, I've got the uh, heat gun out and I'm going to, uh, and I put this one sleeve over um, the, the uh, this is a PL259 to the to the N mating connector to the N uh, type connector that is on the uh, LM400 cable, and I'm gonna also slip this stuff over here too. The other some other shrink heat shrink that's a, a little tougher. So um, again, this is green, great uh, heat shrink that I bought on. Uh, 
genuinedeals.com. So then Of course, I had to run the cable up to the roof. Of I just started this hobby, so I'm a green, I'm a bongo. <laughs> so I'm just getting the bongo. Yeah. 